Hey guys, welcome back to Mons World Gold. So today I'm doing a reading wrap up for the months of October and November. So I'm showing you all the books I read in both those months. So we're gonna get started. I read a total of 12 books in both those months. Um, and the last one I am still currently reading. But do keep in mind the month is still not done, so I may read more books uh, and update you. I have also bought a lot of books in that time that I haven't read yet um, because a bunch of new releases have come out. Um, so yes, let's just get into it. So the first one that I have, these are in no particular order by the way, I'm just showing you. One of them that I have read is Summer Promise. Summer Promise by Robin Jones Gunn. Um, I really enjoyed this. I tabbed it up. Really good book. Um, then I read the Selection series. The first three books of the Selection series. So we have the Selection, the One, uh, the Selection, the Elite, and the One, all by Kira Cass. I love these books very much. Um, this is actually my favorite series, so we're super excited to read this. Then I read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, and I did some fun tabs here. I love this book. I gave this five stars. One of my favorite romances of all time. I highly recommend it. If you want an example of what a healthy relationship is, read this book. On the very opposite of that, we have an example of an abusive relationship with the love hypothesis. I also did some fun tabs for this one. If you want to know more about why this is an abusive relationship, go watch my review, my love hypothesis review. But essentially, there's rape in it and it's not portrayed as rape. So, yikes to that. This is by Allie Hazelwood, by the way. Then we have Care of All by Stephanie Gerber, one of my new favorite books of all time. I gave this five stars. I really like color coordinating tabs, as you can see. Absolutely magical. Really, really recommend this book. And then we have currently my favorite book of all time that I have ever read. We have Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This book deeply, deeply affected me. Um, and I highly recommend it to you. If you can handle it, I will say this. Check the trigger warnings. Check the trigger warnings. Check the trigger warnings. This is not a fun book. This is not a cozy book. This is intense. This is brutal. This is... We're gonna rip your heart out and... It tells an amazing story, but it is a very difficult book to read. So if you are not okay with any of those trigger warnings, do not read this book. But it is beautiful, and you will love it if you are okay with its content. So yeah. Um, then we have the first two books in the Waterfire Saga by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, we have Deep Blue and we have Rogue Wave. I wrote, read these pretty early on in October. I gave them both five stars and I will continue the series soon. Both of them are very, very good, very magical. I have to say I prefer Deep Blue over Rogue Wave, but Rogue Wave was still very good. So, we have those two books. Then we have a controversial one. We have Twilight by Stephanie Garber. I don't care what anyone says, Edward is a sweet bean. And this book is amazing. I will take no Twilight shame on this channel. This is a masterpiece and Stephanie Mayer knows how to write, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. If you disagree, that's fine. But no Twilight hate is allowed on my channel, okay? And then we have the one I'm about uh, a third of the way into. I'm on chapter 17 of Fourth Wayne by Rebecca Yaros. This is another kind of um, controversial book. You either love it or you hate it. I think I posted a reel on Instagram that says when you find your new favorite book. So that just gives you uh, an idea of how I feel about this book. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's going to be a gazillion stars. I'm in love, absolutely in love. Violet's journey is just... 
it's so amazing it's it's connected to me so personally like on such a deep level and I haven't felt this way about a book since Redeeming in Love this book's really deeply emotionally connected with me and I'm not even sure why like there's something about it it's just gold so highly recommend this if you can find it in a library pick it up like it's amazing so those are all of the books that I have read in October and November. Um, I might read more after Fourth Win in November. I did pick up Iron Flame, but I doubt I can finish it in the month of November, so I might wait on that one. Um, I'm not sure. Comment down below what's on your TBR, what you're reading, what you've read in this month, um, what you want to read, and what's on your wish list. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.